and I'm with Jesse Morris. Jesse I've known since he was a tender age of 17, which would be a little while now, wouldn't it, Jess? Yeah, six years ago. Six years six, ago. Oh, geez, seven years ago this year. And as you can see behind Jesse is, uh, is Craig Membry's truck, Rowan, uh, which Jesse drove here to Alice Springs today. Mate, how are you? Not too bad, mate. Just... Uh... Just enjoying the nice weather we've got up here at Alexandra. <laughs> yeah, five degrees feels like one last time I had a look at the temperature gauge. But, it's but not gee, too what bad a... out here, actually, I don't reckon. Well, it's turnout, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. incredible turnout after the last two years that we've had of just shit. Yeah. It's really good to have a lot of people out and enjoying it. It's yeah. good to see. Yeah, you're enjoying life with memories? Oh, absolutely love it, mate. Just um, no two days are the same. One day you can't steal around on a flood top, the next day you can't a vessel carry with 4.7 wide. Yeah, well, I was going to say, in uh, how long have you been with them now? Uh, three and a half years. Three yeah. and a half years. So he's entrusting you with some some pretty big stuff, yeah, isn't he, these days? Yeah, definitely. Um, started as yard hand, like you know, and went into the workshop for a little bit and then started my driving career with him. And, yeah, now driving a 904 2003 model with a C15 in it. Um, doing pretty much anything they ask me to do. OK, I, I saw on, um, on YouTube recently uh, a steam train that you moved. Yeah, I did that... Um, I did the, they call it the Climax, it's one of three in the world. Um, I transported that from Belgrave up to Newport for a rail historic meeting sort of thing. Okay. Um, it was the first time it had ever been off tracks in its 100 year life. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's, uh, that's Craig putting a fair bit of trust in you and your ability yeah. to, uh, to move that sort of product because it's a rare, and if you broke it, mate, you would have been in oh, deep, mate, I was, um, deep uh, doo doos. I was pretty nervous. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Old mate said to me as I'm loading, he goes, you know, this is worth $3 million. I'm like, you couldn't have told me that after I'd done the job. Like, <laughs> but anyway, like, it doesn't really matter what it's worth. You're still chain down the exact same way. If it was worth $10 or $3 million, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. So what are some other big loads that you've done? Uh, I've done the columns into the new Anzac station in um, St Kilda Road. Oh, OK. The new, um, for the new awning where the tram crossover is. Yep. That'd be, um, that'd be a fun job. Yeah, it was uh, pretty cool. The other week I did a turbine on the vessel carrier, 4.9 wide by 4.5 high in a big box. That was taken out to Epping to be unloaded by Crane. Um, and I'm doing gantries as well on the extendable steerable trailers. Okay, so, and uh, Craig's just given me permission to come out with you uh, sometime uh, in the near future when you're, you're doing a heavy load? Yes, definitely. So we'll get, I'll let you know when we've got the next big one coming up and... I get you to jump in the hot seat with me. Mate, we'll look forward to it. Definitely. Good on awesome. you. And how, how, how's Dad? How's EJ? Yeah, he's going well. He couldn't make it up here today. He doesn't like the truck shows anymore anyway. He's past that stage. <laughs> Is he? But yeah, he, um, he's, uh, yeah, he's doing well. Good. Give him our best. Will do. Mate, good to see you. Good to see you. Too. Take care. Thanks, Ken.